Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. Bill Gates and Christian Today newspaper are what we're looking at today, so let's jump right in. As the title says, the newspaper Christian Today has said that Bill Gates is a Christian. This comes from the article, Five Christian Billionaires You Should Know. And as we can see, this article was written by Azalea Pina. This video is going to cover a bigger issue than claiming Bill Gates is a Christian, and that is the lack of discernment in the body of Christ and the advancement of the ecumenical movement. So where do we start? Okay, let's first look at the statement in this article. This reporter is saying that he's a Christian based on an interview where Bill spoke about how important his religious beliefs are to him and his family, and that he said it makes sense to believe in God. If we click on that link, it actually goes to a Rolling Stone article with Bill. And when we get to the last two questions, we get his opinion. He's asked, has your thinking about the value of religion changed over the years? He says, the moral systems of religion, I think, are super important. So it's nothing about having Jesus' sacrifice save us from our sins. It's just morals. He raised his kids Catholic. And while Catholicism has some similarities, it's definitely not Christian. He says he tries to reduce the inequity in the world, and that's kind of a religious belief. I mean, it's at least a moral belief. And really, folks, that's all it is, a moral belief. When asked if he believes in God, he says that he agrees with Richard Dawkins, who is an atheist, by the way, that says mankind felt the need for creation myths. So he agrees with Dawkins that people needed to make up a story about a creator. But he finishes off by saying that it makes sense to believe in God, but exactly what decision in your life you make differently because of it, I don't know. And because of these weak statements, Azalea makes the statement that he's a Christian. So for naive people, they will believe this. And in light of what's going on, this could cause people to say, hey, did you know Bill Gates is a Christian? I guess we can totally trust him after all. This is as ridiculous as it was for the Babylon Bee to assume Elon Musk was saved after their interview. This is only one minute. I agree with the principles that Jesus advocated. Um, and th that the you know there's some some there's great wisdom in what in, in the te teachings of, of Jesus uh, and I agree with those teachings um, and things like turn the other cheek are are very important because as opposed to an eye for an eye um, an eye for an eye leads everyone blind so forgiveness you know, is important and um, treating people as you would wish to be treated. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Very important. So it's like a 60, 70 percent. As, yes. <laughs> as Einstein would say, I believe in the God of Spinoza. Um, so, um, but hey, if, um, you know, if, if, if Jesus is, is uh, saving people, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't stand in his way, you know, like, I'll be sure, I'll be saved, why not? Sweet, we did it. Yeah. I think he just said yes. We got him, <laughs> all right. We got him. <laughs> but let's get back to Bill. In an earlier interview, Bill stated, I'm not somebody who goes to church on a regular basis. The specific elements of Christianity are not something I'm a huge believer in. In terms of doing things, I take a fairly scientific approach to why things happen and how they happen. I don't know if there is a God or not. But the sad part is that we have a so-called Christian newspaper promoting this nonsense. So the writer of this article, Azalea, has many other articles, like this one, where she claims Mark Wahlberg is a Christian. He says that his faith is the most important thing in his life. But with just a bit of research, we can find out what Mark's faith really is, and he's Catholic. In this interview here, he tells the story of meeting a Catholic priest in jail and how he always goes to Mass now. But Christianity Today would have you believe he's a Christian. Now, as I've said before, I believe there are some in the Catholic faith that are saved. But I also believe that God will lead them out of that church as he reveals himself to them. This writer gets excited just because people give shout-outs to God. 
people like Lecrae, who doesn't like being called a Christian rapper, and finally admitted that he doesn't identify with God's people. Or Beyonce, who admitted being possessed by a spirit called Sasha Fierce. So just because they gave a shout out to God, it's to be celebrated. I guess anybody who uses the name of God must be okay. So what about some of the other people involved with Christian today? I saw these guys with the little Catholic type collars, so I thought I'd do some research. If we look at Dr. Rowan Williams, the Archbishop of Canterbury, we read some interesting information about him. We see that his theology has been nurtured by Anglo-Catholicism, Russian mysticism, and scores of encounters with other traditions. We read here that he employed a priest that he knew was living a reprobate lifestyle and also feels that the church should ease up on their approach to these kind of relationships. Not to mention that he feels the Church of England should be on equal footing with the Catholics, the free churches, and all other Christian denominations. Folks, this is the Pope's ecumenical movement in full force being encouraged and promoted in such a sneaky way by the Christian Today newspaper. This is a spiritual battle and all the more reason to read your Bibles and stay focused on God's truth. We're going to leave it here for today, but if you have your own thoughts, leave those in the comments below. And until next time, take care and God bless.